In phase one, I will be working with my daughter, Noelle, on the horse Cervello. Uh, we will be doing a series of six exercises that really focus on developing relaxation, as relaxation is really the first effect that we want from our age, to have the horses relax and accepting of the age. We will go through six very basic exercises, they're all very simple, um, and finish it with some stretching exercises to test the effectiveness of the work. Uh, I have found that these exercises are really beneficial both in teaching a young horse to accept the aids and also to help a novice rider understand how the aids work and, and their inf how they influence the horse. But in this uh, first phase, it's really the most basic exercises. It's really, again, introducing the horse to the aids and, and the rider to the aids and, and the first way a horse should respond to the aids is to relax and to accept the aids. So there, we have a series of exercises, six very basic exercises, we call the kindergarten exercises, um, that it will be done in the rising trot and they will be also be done using the rhythm of the rising trot and using the rhythm of every other time the rider sits. So <clears throat> I would ask Noel if you could go ahead put them together a little bit to make a transition to the trot and when you're ready go ahead and take the rising trot and just stay on the 20 meter circle. These exercises are, are best done on a 20 meter circle. They can be done with the rider riding free or they can be done with the rider on a lunge line. Good. And then have the reins just a little bit shorter. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. And, and let them go to your hand a little bit. So first I want you just to feel the rhythm of every other time you sit. So every other time you sit is now, 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 right? If you could just say that. Say now every other time you sit so we have the rhythm established. Now, now, now. Good. Yeah, one more time. A little bit more precisely. So it would be now, now, now. That's much better. Good. It's very important that, that, to understand that the horses really respond well to rhythmically applied aids. Uh, so it's that using the trot to establish this, using the rising trot to establish a very simple rhythm, if we could, could say. So the very first exercise I want you to do is to introduce the horse just to their inside hand. So every other time you sit, just gently close the fingers on your inside hand. So it would be now, now, right? That's the idea. And I want you to repeat this six times. And as you repeat it, we could say a very simple phrase that tells the horse what you're trying to do, what the goal is, and it also lets the rider know what the goal is. So every other time you sit, we could say, close your fingers and we could say, horse, here is my left hand, right? So good, and, and one more time. Horse, here is my left hand, right? Good, and then I want you to go to the outside hand and the same thing, and, and he doesn't have to change, bend it at all. He just has to acknowledge that you have a, a right hand. And remember now, of course, when we do it with the outside hand, it stays outside. It's, so the horse has to stay consistent in its bending and its positioning. I don't want him to bend right as you do it, but he should just accept that and soften his jaw and accept. Yeah, not too much with your hand, not quiet in his neck. Don't try not to let him get too deep here. Let him go to your hand a little bit more that he doesn't get too deep. Yeah, not too deep. And then you could say with the outside hand, which of course is your right hand. And you, you could say, horse, here is my right hand, right? Good. So then I want you to go from there from the inside back to the inside. So inside hand and inside calf and just gently close your calf and all we're asking is for a, a, that the horse accepts the pressure of your leg against his side and, and allows, you, <coughs> good, allows you to begin the idea of thinking about creating bending. But first, just that he accepts your leg, right? So if we go to the inside, again, I use a very simple phrase. Or first, we could just tell him what leg you have on. 
So we could say every other again, every other time you sit, we could say horse here is my left calf and not so much with your hands, right? Just a just a gentle closing of the fingers, just gently. Right? I don't want him to swing his head and neck. I, don't, I want everything to stay very quiet, and he just accepts it. Or we could say a, a slightly different phrase, but every time it's six, six words or six syllables, so it, quite, very quiet, Not don't swing his head and neck, and it would be horse, relax your stomach, right? So that the idea is the inside hand, inside leg, working together should make the horse very soft on the inside of their stomach and, and inside of their belly or through their rib cage. And then they go to the outside again. So these exercises alternate inside aids and outside aids with the idea of surrounding the horse, ultimately a surround and putting him between your aids. So very quietly, every other time you sit, close your out, the fingers very gently in your outside hand, press and close your outside knee and thigh against the saddle and without turning his head and neck outside, right? He stays in the same bending. He has to accept the right aids as outside aids. And you think, you say, horse, here is my right knee, right? And let it good. And then I want you to go to the inside, an inside hand, an inside knee. And we could tell him again that you have a left hand and a left knee, or we could tell him what, is, what are we looking for? What are we looking for him to relax? And so in rhythm with your left hand closing, just the fingers very gently, as if you're squeezing water out of a sponge, but very gently, and then left knee and thigh pressure, you could tell the horse, horse, relax your shoulders, all right, good, very good. So inside hand, inside knee should be able to relax the shoulders. And then finally, the sixth exercise, again, we go to the outside, outside hand and outside calf, and just very gently close your outside leg against the side as you close your fingers. To, again, don't bend them to the outside. Yeah, we don't want them bending outside like that. I wanted to say true, true bending on the line of the circle. And you could tell the horse, with your, as you use your outside hand, outside leg, horse, relax your stomach. Right? Good. And yeah, good. So we very quietly just surround the horses with the aids, inside aids, outside aids, in a very systematic and rhythmical manner. Now we can test this. And every other time you sit, give a little bit with your inside hand, right? With the inside rein. And we encourage the horse to stretch down a little bit. And you think, horse, stretch into my right rein, right? And then I want you to give on the, on the right rein and we encourage him to stretch on the left and let him go even longer and lower, right? Let him stretch more and think horse, stretch into my left rein. And then just repeat giving on the, on the inside and encourage him to take more right rein and go even longer and lower. Let him go longer. Let him go longer still, and horse, stretch into my right rein, and let him go longer. And then every other time you sit, finally give a little bit on the left, on the, uh, sorry, on the right rein, and encourage him to stretch down into the left rein. And horse, stretch into my left rain and the air and let him go longer good so that very nice yeah and down and let him open his throat latch a little super like this good and a little down that's okay so then you think you just quietly repeat if he gets distracted a little inside hand a little inside leg and you relax the horse through his rib cage it's so important that the horses learn that they accept the leg they accept the hand and they relax to that pressure whether it's the hand or whether it's the leg or whether it's the knee and thigh and through that you learn that the the hand and leg working together really influence the horse through their rib cage the hand and knee and thigh working together really influence the horse through their shoulders 
right? And the horse should relax and accept, accept the aids and be very quiet. And, and the rider learns to give very quiet aids in a rhythmical manner. Right? Very good. And then go ahead and let him come down to the walk and pat him. Very nice. Good. Yeah, super. Good. And let him go long. Good. So in the next session, then we will take this concept a step further. Again, the aching certain that you have the inside aids and the outside aids and that you surround the horse. And I loved working on the 20 meter circle because it, <clears throat> the, the bend in the line, the bend in the turning that's required to ride a nice 20 meter circle and the consistency really helped to relax the horse as well. And the, the steadiness of the line allows them to, to have a nice steady rhythm and allows them to be in a nice balance. Right.